I'm warning you. Next time, it's gonna be glass. Hello, everyone. I decided to do a fart back shot, then a up close. Oh, I just feel so feeling right now after having my taco for breakfast. But anyway, I'm coming today because it's sort of gloomy outside. It's raining, but that's okay. I woke up. I woke up feeling alive and fresh. It did, most of us deserve to take this moment to reset ourselves, bring ourselves back to our innermost desires, and, and that is to have peace with ourselves. I've been watching a lot of YouTubes and being really, well, being really influenced by different influencers out there. I came across one. When I seen her, it, it's as if I saw a doppelganger of myself when I was at that age. The thing is that this here type of, of platform was not out at that time. I mean, the things she talk about, how she does it, just being herself. And that's what I wanted to do. I didn't want to be like everyone else. I would love to work with doing some how-tos because I have a lot of work to do around this house. I tell you, no joke, no joke. But anyway, <clears throat> we're not gonna talk about that. I seen an episode that she did and I wanted to speak on that. And I remember arranging, going online to the, the online dating sites. And I had a wonderful conversation. It was so refreshing and I felt as if we could have connected. So I agreed to meet with him, okay? We was going to meet somewhere at a location, a disclosed location of my choice, downtown Chicago. So what I did is I informed him that I will have on a pink two-piece two outfit, black coat, and I will be wearing a pink rose on my coat. So I get down there, of course, 30 minutes before it was time to meet with him. I'm just casing the area, looking at everyone. Everyone just seems so rushed or in a rush. And he informed me that he will be wearing something of the nature of something that would be obvious, uh, like a plaid shirt or something. And so he told me he will be coming up in a cab, told me the color of his shirt. I'm standing there, I'm standing outside and I'm waiting. And all of a sudden this cab pull up and oh my gosh. Yes, yes. I assumed he wasn't the cab driver, but he was driving a cab. And I have not to catfish me to death. I mean, this guy is, <laughs> <laughs> and he just looked like this. Uh, I can't even say what he looked like. But all I know is I had to play it cool and play it smart. So, I hurried up and snatched the flower off of my jacket and I pretend to have a conversation with someone over across the street. I'm like, hey, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. And I politely just walked my way over across the street. And then I hurry up and ran, in heels and all. In heels, I ran, I ran, I ran. That was the first time. I'm not gonna say that these things don't happen often because they do. That was not the vision. That was not what I had in mind. To be honest, there were some people that I have met online that introduced me to a lot of different things that I know I would not have done it on my own. Um, I went to Ruth Chris, an 
the only way I would go there on my own. I have to work like a month or two and save up some salary, like I'm buying a uh, engagement ring for my fiance to eat at a place like that. But the problem with that friend is, to me, I'm, I've learned money don't buy you class. Money don't buy you common sense. And this person often complains about everything. We go out to eat, we complain. We go to shop, he complain. And um, what broke the camel back for me were that we had flown, took a flight to a location, and I overheard him on the phone some days later disputing the charges to his card for the flight. Again. Again. But anyhow, I've met some friends. We are currently friends, which is best. Because when you go looking for love, you find disaster. You really do. That's why they said just wait and let it come to you. Just wait, it will. I believe my dashing love is somewhere in England. France. So those were my thoughts with online dating. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Back to the other subject. But while I'm at it, why not sit here and act like I'm talking to a real person when I'm really just talking to you? But to all of you watching out there, moving forward, I hope the rest of these days bring you peace and joy and please please stay in tune with your family love them also I would like for you to like comment and hit the subscribe button I should have mentioned that in the beginning so I'm gonna say it again I would like for you to hit the like comment and subscribe button please leave me your thoughts you could generate ideas for me if you just ask me in the comments I would like to share things with you and I would like to know what you would like to share. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, for me and like I said, make time for yourself. I do every day and I really enjoy it. Give me a peace of mind. She's trying to talk again. Cause she think I'm talking to someone or maybe she think I'm going crazy. Because I'm not talking to someone. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> but I'm enjoying the sunlight. The light that's coming in through my window. It's just beaming. So back to you. And I will see you later. Have a safe holiday. And remember, drink responsibly.